Welcome back to Bhagavad Gita in Delhi Life. Today, we're going to dive into chapter 2. As much as I may sound like a broken record, Gita is a set of instructions for us to understand and follow to live a life of high moral values, to do the right things. Every time I'm reading a page, I always try to keep in mind that even though the Gita was said um, on a battlefield, my mind is also a battlefield and I'm struggling with my challenges day in and day out. So every time that I'm reading something, I'm trying to draw a parallel between what's been said here versus what's happening around me and how I can utilize the teachings from here to handle my challenges. Chapter two is called the Yoga of Knowledge. However, it's got a bit of everything from rest of the chapters in the Gita, so we can very easily call it the cheat sheet of the Bhagavad Gita. Chapter one was all about Arjuna's grief and his dilemma and his justification of why he should run away from the war. And Bhagavan Krishna was listening to him very patiently. Chapter two is when Bhagwan will start replying to Arjuna. However, Arjuna has not given up. Even in that state of mind, after he completely surrenders, he's still trying to somehow find a way to run away. Since our mind is also a battlefield for the things that we deal with every day, regardless of the size of the challenge, we should thrive never to become a victim of the situation. That's exactly what happened to Arjuna and he just lost it. Remember Sanjay who was the charioteer of King Dhritarashtra? He was given a special vision so that he can give a live update to the king who was in the palace and Sanjay was with him. So Sanjay tells King Dhritarashtra that Bhagwan Krishna at this point is extremely compassionate and he is almost um, has tears in his eyes seeing the uh, condition of Arjuna and Bhagwan starts to speak. Bhagwan Krishna with full of compassion and some tough love lashes out at Arjuna and he says that this is so much unlike you. This is disgraceful. Be a man, don't be a coward. Get up and stand up for your duty. Bhagavan Krishna is trying to shake him off of his mental state. So he is calling him already various names, calling him a coward, telling him, hey, be a man, get up and do your job, basically. Um, and in the third verse, he calls him a klaibyam, which means that someone with a mental attitude of not masculine enough or not feminine enough. So that maybe Arjuna will realize, hey, that is not me and he will come out of his state. Gurudev explains this so easily as to why Krishna was lashing out. He says that soft words of sympathy couldn't have revived Arjuna's drooping mind at the time. Thus, Krishna rightly lashed out at his friend with these stinging arrows of ridicule dipped in the acid of satire. Krishna ends his word treatment with an appeal to Arjuna to get up and act. Please leave a comment in the comment section if you have any questions or uh, just want to share some experience and share this with folks who you think may benefit from this and stay tuned for more of chapter 2.